Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Crypto Vet coming at you with another video on the 8-Minute Trader. Uh, the market is about to open here soon. Uh, we're going on 20 winning days or so. So uh, we're about to open the market and see what the market gives us today. Hopefully we have another winning day, but who knows? We could have a losing day too. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to share just the coach's screen this morning um, and see what the market gives us. I will see you guys in a little bit. Absolutely. It's my pleasure to be here. And for those that are paying attention, um, the green line, the solid green line is placed at 31,831. The solid red line is at 31,734. To date, we could have a losing day. We could have a winning day. The market's already moving. It's already in the buy zone. The bullish area, it's, it's pretty bullish, this market this morning. So um, the reason why we say we could have a losing day is because that's there's no way to guarantee a win every single day. Even though out of the last 20 days, we've won a, a lot and a lot in a row. We only took one loss in the last, what, three and a half weeks, almost four weeks. So if you're here for the first time and you're a guest, know that we've only lost one trade in the last three and a half weeks. Two, two days we didn't trade at all. And, um, and we might have a losing day today. Um, the market is very strong in the morning. It can go up fast, it can go down fast, but as long as you learn what we do, um, you could potentially do well here. So, so I'm not giving any financial advice. I'm not telling you when to do what to do. Um, you're observing my chart, and when I place a trade, I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. And if you choose to follow along and copy it or, you know, do it on your chart that's your choice so um that's what people have been doing and they've been having some great success over the last three and a half four weeks but we've been doing this for sal and myself we've been doing this for about six months already every morning so um so yeah so we're very excited about this strategy and very impressed with the way this is all unfolded So right now we're in the buy area, the buy zone, also called the bullish zone. So we're in the bullish zone. And we'll see how the market opens. The market is about 50 seconds from open. It looks like the market is bullish this morning for sure, but we'll see. The market open can change all that. So just be careful. Okay, the market's already opening here pretty strong before the market opened. But I'm just going to be patient and wait and see what happens here. The market's still not open yet, but it's moving bullish, very strong. So we'll see. That candle's already a $27 move. Okay, I'm just holding on here for a second. I'm not in any trades yet. I'm just holding on. I'm not in any trades. I'm just being patient. Just observing what the market's doing. We got 15 seconds left of this candle. All right, just got into a buy. I just got into a cost average. I'm in uh, three trades right now. I'm in another cost average. Let's see how this market responds here. My last cost average, and we'll see here. We're in about a 
2% drawdown. Just being patient here, and we're going to, we're at about a 3% drawdown, and I just closed some trades here. We just took a, a loss of about 3.5%. Just closed the trades at a loss. We did take a loss today. Hold on. Let's see if we can get into another trade here. We might be able to. Just seeing what the market's doing here. patient but at this point we're in about three minutes we took a, a loss this would be our second losing day in three and a half almost four weeks all right you guys so um if you were paying attention um as you see we had a actual full-on losing day today for the first time uh with the eight minute trader i actually myself took a 4.64 percent loss to my account and that's okay because um, it's all a part of the program. I was trying to get out at 3%, but I wasn't quick enough on the trigger. I did go into drawdown a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to go. Tried to hold on a little bit there, but when you deviate from the system that they have in place, this is exactly what could happen. Um, so, you know, this is a, a perfect example of uh, how to stay resilient and how to get back into um, the market. Don't lose one day and expect you're gonna lose every other day. I mean, we have the back testing, we have the uh, FX books, we have the my, um, uh, not the FX book, the uh, FX blue links out there for people who have consistently been winning. Here, just with us on the free program for the past 20 days, people have been growing their account hand over fist. So one losing day is okay. Um, it doesn't. It's not going to blow your entire account unless you deviated from the system. So as long as you're sticking with the system, I'm sure we'll come back again tomorrow strong. Um, the system does call for uh, you losing one to two days out of the week and you still being able to compound your account from $2,500 to over $130,000 within a year of you getting started with the program. So if you stick to the plan, those are the type of results that you may see. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just giving you the information that has been shared with me. Um, if those of you guys who want to participate and trade with the live morning calls, please feel free to send me a message. I've got all my information down in the description box below. Uh, I'm still excited and uh, I can't wait for tomorrow to, uh, to recoup the funds that uh, we lost today and continue to compound my account. Um, I'll still have my FX book link in the description below for you guys to check that out. Now, last night, we actually had a phenomenal, phenomenal training um, that was headed up by Sal and Coach Mo. He went into exactly what cost average means when he's taking a trade. And there's a lot of people, a lot of questions that's been going around, like what is their risk tolerance? Um, how are they able to receive such a high return um, on their percentage? 
and a lot of folks weren't tracking the lot size that he was entering in on and realizing that, well, I'm not even gonna explain it. I actually have a video that I'm gonna share with you guys, just a little snippet from that training so you guys can check it out for yourself. Oh, real quick, before I send you off to this video, um, I started recording a little bit late, so just be advised when he starts talking about a .01 lot size, it's .01 for every thousand that you have in your account, which is recommended. So if you see um, on the video, he has, about $5,457 in the demo account that he's using to trade with on these live morning calls. So he can go up to a 0 0.05 lot, and that's what he's talking about once we get rolling into this clip. So take a look. However, myself, I placed the 0 0.01 as though my account is like a thousand, and why do I do that? Because I can place up to five trades at 0 0.01, which would be the max which would end up being a point is zero five. You see how that works? So you're gonna see me do that. Now, this setting up here where it shows lot size point zero four, that's based on the parameters that I chose within the um, tool that we that you'll get on your chart. And the tool is really valuable and powerful, but based on the tool and based on my willingness to take a loss, it gave me the, the um, a point zero four lot as the um, option to, sh to be able to trade that. So this is just basically showing based on the inputs that I put and on the left hand side is actually what I'm actually trading. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pl press play and show you how I traded it. So I just, okay, so I'm going to pause right there. So you see when you see a green dotted line on your chart, you place the buy, right? So if I was at a 0 0.05 right now, which I'm not, I'm at a 0 0.01, then um, then I would have only placed one trade. Because for me to cost average at a 0 0.05 twice or three times, that's, that risk is way too high. And that's being irresponsible. So I placed one trade. So right now I'm in for one trade. And the way I would say it on a, on a call is I would say I just placed a buy. So those that are following along would know that I just placed a buy. So then the next thing would be is if I let it roll, if you see it's starting to go down a little bit right away, as soon as I got into the trade, it went down, which shows you that I'm in a drawdown of $5 at the top. And it shows you that I'm less than, you know, a 10th of a percent. It's like a 10th of a percent. So if you just pay attention here, you notice, okay, so I just placed a second trade. So now I'm in put for a 0.02. So I've got two trades at 0 0.01 each, which means that I would say, okay, I just did a cost average. So if I say I just did a cost average, you would know that I placed another buy. Instead of me continually to say, oh, I placed another buy, I placed another buy. I'm gonna say I placed a buy initially, but then I placed a cost average. I placed another cost average, I placed, which means I placed a buy again. And so you can see I placed two buys. So now I'm in for 0 0.02, okay? Now you see it's still it's still kind of moving around. It's going a little bit further down. So I placed another. See now it's my third one. So that's another cost average. So now I'm in for 0 0.03. And then watch what happens here. So so it's just hovering around. It's not really okay. Now look what it just did. It just dropped majorly far down. Right. It just went far against us. What's cool is the the you know, it's a 0.8%, so not even 1% drawdown on the entire account. But look how much farther it went down. Now, it's still in the buy zone. So in my mind, because it's still in the buy zone, it's still valid. That I feel, look, it's it's and, and it's still going upwards. You know, it's still, it's still up above the buy zone. So it's, you know, for me, it's still, I'm still confident that this is a good buy trade. So that's why I'm not getting nervous and trying to, you know, close the trade yet. So then, if you notice, as it goes downward against us, okay, there you go. So now I just placed another cost average. So now I'm in for four trades at a 0 .01 each. All right, so there you have it. Um, that was a phenomenal, phenomenal training. It lasted about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, if you weren't in the room, definitely, definitely, definitely check out the recording from that training last night. If you don't have access to... Um, 
the recording or to the Telegram group, it's because you're not registered yet. Send me an email or follow the uh, instructions in the video um, in the description below. And once you get registered, I can get you access to the official Telegram chat as well as uh, my VIP group that um, um, I'm involved with the, with a couple of different traders. So once you do that, I can get you access. Um, in the meantime, we're going to use this strategy moving forward. And um, I hope to, like I said, come back strong into the market tomorrow. And we're just waiting our little hearts out for uh, the scalping indicator. I got a message uh, here shortly after trading ended. Even Sal took a loss today in the market, and he lost 0.07% on his uh, on his demo account. No, he's trading with a live account, and so he lost 0.07%. But he recouped 7.2% or something crazy like that with the scalper um, slightly after the actual trade ended for the, today. And he has his results that he shares in the um, testimony group that we have on Telegram. So definitely you want to get in the group to check that out. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody that you love and care about. Um, I hope to see you guys in the room tomorrow and uh, I'll catch you then. Have a good one.